Hello everyone, so we're going to continue looking at some AP Calc stuff uh, for the class AB, AP Calc AB, and this is a practice test from Crack AP, and this is from the 14th, these practice tests, and so for this question right here, we're given this, the side of the square is increasing at a constant rate rate of point. 4 centimeters per second in terms of perimeter P. What is the rate of change of the area of the square in centimeters squared per second? So please pause the video here and in a little bit we'll go through it. Just a reminder, this is related rate, so it's going to involve the derivatives of some equations and you're going to relate them to each other. All right, so please pause it right here and we'll go through it. Okay, so what we have here, again, the equation from that part, the question... And we need um, the rate of change. So again, this is derivative, the change, the area. And the area of a square is, let's just write that down first. Area of a square is side squared. I'm using the cursive S because it might look like a 5 and don't want to confuse anyone. The perimeter for a square is P equals 4S because if we have a square say each side is 4, and the perimeter is going to be 16, because we're going to multiply that one side by 4, as all the sides are congruent. And there's also a right angle here, supposed to be. Okay, so for the area, again, we're just going to multiply two sides, or one side squared, and going to also get 16 in this case, because 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 4 is also 16. It's kind of a weird coincidence, but anyways, that's just an example. Let's return to the question. So first, we would like to get the derivative of each side. So these brackets mean derivative, the rate of change. So we're going to get dA dt is equal to 2s d s d t and over here we're going to get d p d t is going to equal 4 4 s or just 4 4 d s d t okay before we go on we have this equation perimeter equals 4 s and actually we could take that and solve for s. So if we do that, we get p over 4 is equal to s. Now we could plug this in to our, to our equation for the change in area. So we would get dA dt equal to 2. Thing for s is p over 4 ds dt. We know this would actually become 2p over 4, which is actually 2 fourths is just 1 half, so p over 2. Then we also have this ds dt still on there. We're given this value because if we look at the question, the side of a square is increasing at a rate of 0.4 centimeters per second. So this is the change in that side. So we plug in this 0.4 to this side here. So now we have P2 times 0.4. And if we do some multiplications and simplifying, this gets us to 0.2P is going to be the change in area. And if we go back to our, qu our question here, see that's answer B there we go okay let's skip ahead to question 5 here given F and G are differentiable functions and F a is equal to negative 4 G a is equal to C G C is equal to 10 F C is equal to 15 F a is equal to 8 G prime of a is equal to B G prime C is equal to 5 F C prime C is equal to 6 then if h of x equals f of g of x, find the derivative of h a. Okay, so we're approaching this one. We know it's going to probably involve the chain rule. So please pause right now and attempt, and then we'll go over it. 
Ooh, that was a long one, writing all the things out again. Okay, so this is what we're trying to find, the derivative of h of x, and h of x is equal to that f of g of x. Again, this is going to be like the chain rule. The chain rule is g prime of x times f prime of g of x. So again, the chain rule is like going outside first, then inside, then inside, going first with the function, the outside, the overall function, then taking the derivative in the middle, and then doing it again and again and again. That's why it's a chain rule. So basically, you're just moving inwards, taking the derivative as you go. And, of course, multiplying everything throughout. Okay, so if we do do the chain rule here, and remember we're looking for h prime of a, that means it would be hx, ha actually, would be f g a. Okay, so we have this. Now we're going to take derivative. And again, chain rule. So g prime of a times f prime of the g of a. Okay, so now we just look up at our table here and match what we know. So here we have our g prime of a. So b times g of a is... g of a is... Sorry about that, I had a brain fart. G of A is C. So this is actually F prime of C. And we know that F prime of C from up here, look at that, 6. So B times 6 equals 6B. If we go back to our question here, we see that A is the correct answer. All right, so that was two more of this practice test. Uh, this was calculator permitted. This is a practice test for AP Calc AB. And if you're still confused on any of these um, functions or concepts that are used in these practice questions, please, by all means, look up online, ask questions, look up and review stuff. It will never hurt you. It will only make you a stronger learner. Thank you all for tuning in and do something nice for someone.